to study in Koru, Kamai holds a lot of lessons. And you study the Kamai and have that fit in the kata and all so on and so forth. We, we, we've gone through that a lot, the understanding of Kamai and the importance to Koru. But no one uses kata exactly in a real fight. You use aspects of kata in a fight. So when you're doing the kata, I think it's okay to do, you know, like if we go to like, you know, Ichimanji Kamai or some of these, you know, these type of, the, you know what I'm saying, these really deep kamai, and you're really trying to learn certain skills and so on and so forth. I think that's great when you're learning traditional martial arts. The kata was written by people who went to war. There's a transmission. It goes down the generations. You're learning what was written down. You're preserving history. You're learning a tradition. That's great. But then you got to flip. You got The other side of the coin is you still have to prepare yourself for a real fight. What we want to talk about is the idea of distancing, timing, sparring, all that kind of stuff. If me and Heath, uh, right here. If you go to a fighting stance and I'm here, okay. So this is about this is a sparring. This is we we're here. We're both we're gonna go and we're gonna start sparring. This is not where a real fight starts, ever, right? And I know we talked about this on Saturday. It's so true. A real fight starts someone walking up and saying, "Motherfucker, I'm gonna kick in your ass." This is where a real fight starts. No fight starts. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Right, you know, okay, let's get it on. You know, like you see in the, the, the UFC and kickboxing and karate tournaments where it's okay, bow, bow, and you're on your line. What's going to happen is you're going to be somewhere, whether it's getting gas, gas station, your local grocery store. Someone's going to walk up and, did you say something to me, motherfucker? And they're going to be, bam, right here. And it's going to be up close and personal, and this is where a real fight starts. Okay? You cannot be fixated on what they're doing. You need to look at your opponent, not their weapons. You need to be aware of their weapons, but not look at their weapons. So if he has a knife, I don't want to look, act like you have a knife. If he has a knife, I don't want to look at the fucking knife. I want to be aware of the knife. I want to know what the knife is doing, but I need to look at him and I need to look at these people right here. I need to see everything, not see one thing. You have to see everything. You can't see anything if your ass is doing this. Right? How can you defend if you turn around like this? You stick your ass to the person you're trying to fight. Can, can you defend yourself by putting your ass to the person that's trying to beat your ass? No. It, it's just not smart. Now, I know people have these fears and insecurities and doubts, and they feel like, you know, someone starts swinging, and, and they, they, that fear sets in, and then they want to go away. They want to they push back. Or someone rushes them, and they want to turn around, like, no, oh, no, don't hurt me, don't hurt me. And they do this. That is the wrong way to train. There isn't one time when we do basics that I say to do that. There isn't any kata that you've ever learned where the correct response is someone come at you and you turn around and show them your ass. There isn't one technique that I've ever taught that says don't look at the person you're going against. Ever. In the history of ever. So when you guys are doing sparring, everyone's got this idea like sparring is a real straight fight. No, it's not. Sparring, this is, and I'll say this for the camera. Sparring is not supposed to resemble a real fight. Sparring, or randori, randori means chaos talking. It's chaos. Randori is, a, is an exercise that trains you to deal with your own shit in a chaotic situation that you cannot control. I cannot control what this man does. I can't. I can control what I do, and I can be victorious over what he does. Right? I can defeat my opponent, but I cannot control his actions. I control my actions. Right? And it's actually one of the most, that it, it depends on what side of the coin you look at, right? It's actually the most empowering thing you can actually embrace is that you control nothing, or it's the most depressing thing that you can ever think of is that you control nothing, but you can see the positive or negative in anything. It's like breathing. When I inhale, it's positive. When I exhale, it's negative. Some people look at life like it's a positive thing. Smell the coffee, we're doing good. And some people are like, oh, it sucks. So which is it? Is it like good or is it like bad? Do you focus on the inhale or do you focus on the exhale? Right? So when you guys are sparring, the first thing you have to do is you have to visually see your opponent. You have to make sure you understand what weapons they have, whether it's punches, kicks, empty handed, whether it's a knife, a gun, whether it's multiple attackers, you need to be able to see everything but focus not on any one thing. So the next thing I'm gonna say is, keep your hands up above your fucking collarbone. Nobody should be sparring, like, I you know you guys see the, like, the Rocky Balboa, right? I'm gonna put this hand down by my, you know what I mean, like, here we go. 
here we go, you know, like he's fighting Apollo Creed, you know, he's just taking it. And, he's ta and it's really cool in the movies because you see him, you know, they, they take that shot and, you know, like he's yelling at Mr. T, remember that, that one scene where they're like, come on, hit me harder, hit me harder. And then Mr. T just goes off on him, or Clubber Lang, I think his name is in that movie. Do you remember that? Yeah. Oh, come on, no one's going to shit in a real fight. It's absolute for the movies, right? So, we did this on Saturday, but I'm going to show you a reaction drill. So come on over here, Mr. Heath, you're the right here. All right, so he's going to be standing here. Put your hands like that. All right, I've got my hands like this. I'm going to do a back fist. I'm going to come like this. I'm going to smack him in the chest. I'm using my right hand. All you have to do is take that hand. Here, push it away. He's going to block my hand. I'm telling you right now, when you see me move, block it. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. You didn't do it. No. Why not? Ready? Faster. Didn't happen. Okay, right. Now, he can't. There's two times in a row. What do you want? For shits and giggles, do get a good three. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. All right, so I told him we're at the same position, right? I'm going to hit him with the right hand. All he has to do is push it away. He can't do it, right? And I am not this, I'm not like I'm this athletic, fucking professional athlete here. I'm a middle aged transgendered woman. Jesus Christ, you know what I mean? It's not like I've had this, this awesome amount of athletic ability. But there's a thing to it where your brain has to recognize movement and then you have to respond. Well, if we know that, put your hands back up, this right here is where a real fight starts. Right here. But if you can't even block this this fast, why would you, in a sparring match, hold your hand down here like this? Because if your hand is lower, then you have to bring your hand up and then block. So you got to do two movements to my one. But here's the next thing is, action or motion is faster than reaction or action is faster than reaction. So we're going to do the next, we're going to do the next one. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. So this next one is I'm going to have my hands down low. So I've got to bring my hand up and then hit his chest. I got to do two motions before he does an inward block to my hand. Ready? Yes. Ready? <laughs> ready? Yes. Three times in a row, I brought bring my hand up hit his chest, and he still didn't do it. I did two motions to his one. He still can't because I am in motion. He, he sees me, and then he has to react, right? He still can't do it. So if you already know you're in a fight, and this dude's got his hands up, you're going to beat your fucking ass, and you're over here like, come on, man. Get your hands down like this or one down like this, and you're putting your head out there, and you're always wondering, why am I the one with the fucking black eyes? You might think about that when you're the one that's always getting fucking punched in the face that your hand down here is doing you no fucking good. Nobody, I'm gonna get people like this. I don't know, you guys are gonna love this one. If you fight like this. Why do you wanna put your hands in your nipples? Nobody wants to punch you in your nipples. They wanna punch you in your face. They wanna punch you in your throat. They don't give a shit about your nipples. Not to take this action or reaction one step further. I'm gonna do three motions to his one. Hands up. My hands are low. I'm gonna bet you I can bring my hand up, hit my chest, hit his chest before he can block it. I'm using this hand, simply take that. Because if you use this, you gotta go across your body to block. Yes, so I'm already telling you up front, this hand is the fastest option to block this away. Yes, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. You missed. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Missed. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Missed. <laughs> three times in a row, right. I smack my chest, I smack you, you didn't block one. I did three motions to your one. So imagine that means the action is three times faster than the reaction. So again, if you put your hand, one hand low, one hand up like you're sparring, like put the lead hand down, the hand up. And I'm like this, why would he think that hand is going to come up and block? He's going to do two motions as a reaction to my one motion, that's an action. Because look at that, look at that eye right there, right? Look at that eye right there. It's almost like this, this left side forward and this right hand cocked is like a natural motion for him, right? So if I know this is my motion and he has his hands up and my hands here and he still can't block me, right? Why would you think if this hand's down and I'm here that you are gonna be two motions faster as a reaction than my, my one motion action going forward. It doesn't make sense. So when you're sparring, the next thing, I know the first one was, see what the fuck is going on. The second thing is, use your goddamn head. Stop doing things that are stupid. 
I mean, I know, that is the mo I know, this, you guys are probably looking for the secrets of sparring and the secrets of fighting. And honestly, these are some of the best goddamn lessons you're ever going to hear. Look at what the fuck they're doing. Be aware of your environment. See the weapon, but don't focus on it. Don't do nothing stupid, and keep your goddamn hands up. No one wants to punch your nipples. They want to punch your face. Keeping your hands like this, or like this, you know? I know it's cool. You see these guys in the street, and you're like, Mom, man, I'll kick your ass. Well, that's fine. They clearly know what the fuck they're doing. Just walk up and say, All right. Are you talking to me? Fat! <laughs> you know what I mean? You already know that. But another thing you guys want to think about is the fact that if you can see that your action is three times faster than reaction, then understand you need to hit first. You need to hit fast, you need to hit first, and you need to hit fucking hard. You need to make sure that your shot lands. Right? That's the thing you want to do. You want to make sure if you know this is a threat, hit fast, hit first, hit hard.